Hello and welcome to episode 5 of my Let's Play of The Last Remnant on the PC. In the last episode we made our way up the hill of Dilmore and across this bridge, basically heading up towards, I believe, the top of the hill with this weird kind of... well, we'll find out, basically. See a little bit of a shiny thing in the last episode, but I'm sure that the cutscene will unravel the mysteries. So the gun just meandering the way up. Prosperous town. It was centered around the remnant of peace, the rubber soul. Is it bad that I think I'm more of a Beatles reference than no, anything else? The one the remnant was Probably not. To passed away. But, yeah. The world is filled with countless remnants. No two look alike or share the same power. However, they all have one thing in common. Unlimited power. No? And yeah, that is... come on, you <laughs> can't just leave it there. When a remnant is not bound to a soul, it calls forth disastrous misfortune. Oh. This calamity is known as the collapse. Okay, that's bad. Sounds bad. Shh. Hide yourselves. Hide yourselves behind me. You'll never see me peeking around the corner. I see them. Two men. And a dark-haired little girl. That's it. He's gonna run out, isn't he? Don't you fuck. God damn it, Bush! What did you do to her? You're really not the smartest knife in the drawer. No. Um. This must be. Uh, <laughs> Dear. Yep, so we will just cast forth this unfathomable magic that we used before. Why? How did you think that was going to work? In what world would you running screaming at them get her back? That's a bit weird though. He just kind of walked through a gate or something. And we're left with the amorphous blow oh, and whatever that is. I'd say amorphous ish blob thing, but Yeah, I think it's for the good of the kingdom that we need to strike this down with great vengeance and furious anger. Yeah. Another oh just a collapse. Is that what that is? Ah, how convenient he just mentioned that. I don't know the fact that Toggle as well has his second pair of arms just cross arms still like cross arms still going like Ugh. See now he's ready for the fight. Before he had like two of them up. It was just like well, unamused I would say the word I would use is, but anyway, let's focus on this. So let's attack with combat arts. Try and take oops, who's that who's a target in there? Yeah, it's fine. I'm gonna try and take the plants out first, basically. Get the numbers game back on my side, hopefully. So I'm just keeping half an ear out for any sort of well turn up for. Like the, the triggers, but we're not gonna we haven't got any there with that one. Hopefully we'll get some with Emma's pie or squad. No, but we might kill them, so that's good. Oh, no, oh, oh come on! At least it worked, but didn't need to have it anyway. So now we're deadlocked with this one. This is where it starts getting a little bit nasty where you start getting deadlocked then flanked. Yes, yeah, so the morale's going back on you. You just wanna try and get the numbers back on your like of parties back on your side. The number of units, or whatever you want to call them. So, these ones are going to have to go for that vile plants group. Um, I want to get them to keep their HP up. So yeah, that was a bit of a wasted turn. So one of the things I don't like about this, but it kind of makes sense in the in, in as much as it's like a turn-based system. Take care of yourself. Yeah, you just sort that out, Emma. Cheers. Um, oh, there we go. Almost to that thing where it's too fast again. But so you feel like you've almost wasted a turn when it just takes like it's gonna be the same with Emma's squad here after this. Cause they can't attack those ones that just flanked them. Um Like this is gonna be a one turn just I might as well just do it back them. Do you know? We'll go for it sorry, I'm forgetting which one's which. So yeah, these ones will just have to well I just keep your HP up so we get a bit of healing done while we're on. But essentially Oh, there we go. <laughs> we hopefully get the restore in still. There we go. Yeah, it's a bit of a wasted turn. Um, the fact we missed the first one kind of helps a little bit in terms of it being feeling less wasted, but... Let's take these ones out. 
Another one. See they're coming a bit slower. There we go. Try not to miss them, but Oh, you missed quad slice, I think that was a new one. Um haven't seen it, haven't seen it so far anyway. Right, so now music's changed as it's now two on one against this guy. He's probably about to do something actually. Um look at the status there. Oh I didn't I didn't think they could do that. You can see what they're gonna actually use. Um that's interesting. I just noticed it when I was on there, so if you do come out, there's a lot of knee splitters coming in there, which should be good. Um, so let's find out. <laughs> you know, you can't use Omni Strike, I thought I would be able to, but never mind. Those knees are going to get hurt. Uh oh, natural gas, that sounds bad. Poison, everyone's poisoned. Okay. But we're all going to take your knees out, so that's fine. With an extra bonus. No, that's still not quite hurt enough, but we flanked it and, well, should be doing massive damage now, basically. Yeah, I might even get it this time if I keep tension. There we go. That should do it. Sweet! So that wasn't too bad. I think it's our first proper boss fight. Yeah, Pegasus is happy enough with that. We've captured one of those vile plants now. There is something yellow there, so I might split it up. I can't. I'm going to read up what those colours mean still, but um, it's a rare breed component. Like generally, the um, yeah, the blue ones are breed components. The white ones are everything else, I guess, customization or what not. Um, but the yellows are the rare breed, and I believe the purple are the rare other, so like custom rare customization component or what not. But well, that went fairly well. All things, well, apart from not getting her back, but that's Rush being and Dingus. Because, as you said, Lord David, yeah. the flying creature is unquestionably a remnant. Yeah. Confirm this with the Academy. I'll get on the phone with them. Yes, my lord. Hey, Academy, what the hell? Seriously, guys. Behind all this. We do not know enough at this point. We can make accusations, though. The situation is more complex than we'd imagined. Hmm. Yes. We should postpone any course of action until we know more. That's not going to stand well with Rush. What about Arena? Should I just keep my fingers crossed? No, but you shouldn't just we are not rush in. An ordinary foe. <laughs> just do... A well-researched plan is essential. Yeah. Oh, God, he annoys me. Hi, Dave. Toggle's right. Toggle is correct. Yeah. <laughs> You stop being. We are dealing with forces that control a remnant, not even the academy. Ah, I don't know. Yeah, we Shopping assume. Conclusions will only place Arthlam in danger. Yeah, we start acting out. Position, Rush. Ah, but I want to do something now. In fairness, his name is apt. I'll give him that. I think I've already said that, but it's still apt. Where are you going? To do something, because I'm reckless. To find arena, obviously. Duh. You know how the people of Athlam are the most important things in your life? Well, Arena's the most important thing in mine. Yes. But well, thanks for you don't just run around me. doing random crap. Alone from here. Oh, damn it, you've just lost a gang of cool, awesome helpers by being stubborn. And she's probably happy Lord with that. David, we still know nothing about his talisman. We do know enough to kind of get a rough idea. It's just... Perhaps we should have stopped him. Perhaps, perhaps... Perhaps not. I am aware that we need more power, as the gay bog and Valeria heart won't suffice. Nope. Well, I don't the know, but I should not. Is at stake here. We need to steal his power. Hmm. I don't know, they seem like good guys. I think they'll not coerce him. I hope not. <laughs> Texture load in there. Um, dear. I'm not sure whether that's my machine on the game. But yeah, so we've got nice gardens here. Let's have a look in the gardens. Ah, some of those flowers from the intro. Arena. Yeah. And we have more exposition, our backstory. 
backstory more service. Oh, is it? This isn't. This is exposition. <laughs> I believe. <laughs> if my terms of literally de uh, my use of literary devices is correct, which it probably isn't. Either. Sorry, the menu's not fit for a princess like you. I'm more just distressed about being kidnapped by hey. you. Hey, it's not so bad. Rush. Rush is dead. Oh. Okay. Yeah. He... No. Again, it's a little bit of shades of Final Fantasy XIII with that guy. The dead and eat your meal. Yeah, you God. You should be honored. Capital H, eh? Hmm. Okay. Not quite sure what I make of that yet. Subtitles helping us out there a little bit with the subtext, I guess. A lovely knot in his hair there. Let's just hand her You pity her? Yeah. This whole deal makes me sick. She's just a kid. Yeah, basically, yeah. I am merely following the Lord's orders. Ah. As you should follow mine. Chain of command, yeah. Fine. Then give me some real orders. I'm sick of being a damn babysitter. Murder everyone then. That's better. As you wish. Let us go forth to the next remnant. Oh, he's got a weird eye under there. I think we kind of always knew that, but you got a bit of a glimpse of it there as he turned around. Um. Explains why it's just it's not just for show the whole dangly thing. It's actually a kind of an eye patch, except a really crap one. You could uh, damn it, Rush. Maybe you should. Maybe you should have just listened to them. God. Look how far I got on my own, yeah. Exactly. Well, it's, yes. We well, don't need it necessarily, but it always helps. So. Yes, we now have the Union board unlocked. And unions can be created freely. And we can now have two unions, which was, I think, what we had, but. Same as squads in the last battle. And it's, oh no, maybe it's not. We'll have a look anyway. No, no, that's right. Maximum unity of party is ten, right? Yeah. So if we just have a quick look here, um, now I've only got one union here, but I believe what I can do. Maybe yeah. I believe I can have two two in one of these and then one in another. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it up here. And what we'll do is, actually, when we out to the town square, we will head across to the Union of the Golden Chalice in the next episode to try and get some help, basically. Um, I believe, at least if my memory serves me, I'm just going to go into there. And, yeah, we'll have a wander along here. This is the equivalent of, like, the guild, essentially, where you can m meet... People, you can see there's a knight crest on the door outside. Um, on the better view, maybe there. But um, yeah, we're, we're gonna wrap it up here, and we'll head in there tomorrow and see what there is to do. So in the meantime, thank you very much for watching, and back shortly with the next episode. So take care of yourself and have a good day. Bye.